Comment ça va? That means how you doing? Me, I'm Tinu, and welcome to Cajun Craft Astrophy. I hope you're ready to get your craft on because uh, I got a good one today. Daddy, I'm doing an internet thing right now. Fine, I know when I'm not wanted. Internet. So today we're gonna create a non-standard Christmas ornament for your tree. He's part of a seasonal security force that will guard your presence. And, uh, this guy means business. We're gonna sculpt them up, figure out all the problems, get fancy with some tools and not so fancy with others, have some fun, and pass a good time. And of course we're gonna get him painted up so he's uh, looking real pretty for Christmas. So without further ado, uh, let's get our craft on. Good morning. Let's go. Alright, pay attention. Get this sculpey, roll it into a ball, and... So roll it into a ball. I'm gonna shape it like a torso. This is gonna be the body. Right, so now we start to make like a little arm. Now like the little leg, see that? It's like on each, each of the corners. See, he's already looking like a little guy. Now this is the freaking cool part. See, so twist it and twist it. Keep twisting. Twist, twist. See that? It's looking like cloth. See that? So just take your time. There's no rush. Be gentle and just slowly twist. Let's do the arms. Eyes really taking shape. Oh yeah, watch out. Every year, me and the wife, we uh, make our own Christmas ornaments. We uh, open up some wine and watch Christmas movies. And I'll be honest, this is my favorite part of the entire holiday season. I mean, it's fun. You make some crazy stuff for your Christmas tree and hang out with your best friend. What more could you ask for? Now you see, you want to bend his arms out a little bit because he's going to be holding a weapon. And don't do like me, who messed up his feet. And this guy, he's going to hang from a tree, so I want his feet pointy. Dolly shot. Too big. So I'm going to use this to make an armature for his head. So that's something to hold on to. And you want to go in gentle, gentle. You don't want to mess him up. Easy pressure. Oh snap. That is an unfortunate place for an exit wound. Oh. Let's see if we can fix this. Boy, boy, boy. Watch this. See? Pull the tool in one direction nice and easy like that. And it looks like cloth. See that? It's little things like this that make it come alive. You see this? All these little flaky pieces right there? Don't worry too much about that. It comes off when it's baked. Snap. Now I'm trying to make a head here, but that's too big. Take two. That's looking better. This stuff works like a glue for sculpey. Can I lay this stuff on real thick? To help his head stick on. No. This thing's gonna be the end of me. I feel slightly awkward right now. Get that head on there. Trying to make sure it's not coming out the crotch. But it is. Boy. 
wait, that's the wrong side. I want this pointy in so it goes in easy. See that? I don't I don't want to distort the head by put it having to push real hard. Now let's put a little symbol right here on his chest. And I'm going to use one of my favorite little tools, which is a jeweler's screwdriver. Now, some people ask me, hey, do you know how you come up with these ideas, like seasonal security force? Well, let me show you my main source of uh, inspiration. Dinu. Oh, Dinu. Hey, Dinu. Yes, Daddy? I don't want to alarm you, but prepare to panic. Dad? What are you talking about? Okay, get this. I was listening to my earbuds just now and I heard a special holiday report. Apparently, I missed the memo because now for Christmas, they got little men that get in your house and spy on you and the kids. No, oh, I see. You talking about Elf on the Spies? Sh they could be anywhere. Always watching. No, they come in the house uninvited, and give candy to the kids. That's red flag number one. Right. How about we check all the shelves in the house? Hmm? Do you know, trust me on this one, you went way over your head. Now stuff some towels into the door cracks. Wait, instead, we go in full front. Assault, I hope. That is 100% correct. Now get me two cans of roach spray, some oven mitts, and uh, oh yeah, my goggles. Plus, a pack of Twizzlers. What? It's gonna be a long night. I don't wanna... All this got me thinking. If only there was a highly trained, crack team of holiday mercenaries. A seasonal security force, if you will. Then maybe everything would turn out okay this Christmas. For once. And I said, that's fine with me. I'll let myself out. Unfortunately, the door I chose led straight to the bat room. Anyway. I think we can build that. Let's get our craft on. Look at this thing. I hope y'all learned a valuable lesson out there of uh, what not to do. Okay, so now we're gonna position his arms because watch, he's gonna be holding a little weapon. I'm not sure what kind yet, but we are about to bake him. Okay, he's baked. Now this guy back here, he's kind of short, but that's because of a, a of a vitamin deficiency. So now I'm gonna make a little hat. They actually wear, see two hats, one on each side. That's what those toothpicks are for. Just press it down. You don't have to be gentle. Let's make another one. It's not quite the same size. So watch, you can add just a little more clay. Especially on something like this, it's easy. Consa. Glue these up again. This stuff really helps it stick even before it's baked. I want to make some room for the... Uh, we're going to do the little fur lining around his hat. He's a... Uh, it's starting to rain outside. Can y'all hear that? This is going to be his eyes. And that is way too big, do you know? Come on. Oh, look at this. This is some uh, advanced sculpting right here. Two hands at a time. Watch out. Oh. It's close enough. Just kind of press them on there real, real hard. Sometimes it doesn't want to stick like the new clay stick to the baked clay, like his head. 
I swear that uh, glue helps. So I should push down with this thing. I'm gonna make some. My camera is out of focus so bad. I so this eye is looking pretty good. Let's do the other one. Now, this tool, I should put some, uh, like some baby oil on it or uh, they have a Sculpey softener that you could use. But, uh, but look at it, that looks pretty cool. But uh, that's not what I wanted to show y'all. So uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it smooth in a minute here. Let's give them some texture around these eyes. You hit that, hit that, hit that. You don't have to be too, too gentle. Just have fun with it. This is what I was talking about. Clay softener. So watch, you make a little bowl uh, out of the scope and you can like put this in there. And, oh, do not want to drop this when it's full. So this stuff, it kind of makes the scope kind of melt. And uh, that makes it easy to smooth. Okay, so while I smooth this out, I'm going to show you all a little something. It's about my wife. She paints. She's a, a real painter, not like me. And she did a, a Christmas painting. This is a Krampus, the she-devil of Christmas. Look at her. You do not want to see this face on Christmas night. But she has impeccable taste in footwear, no denying. And this kid is praying, which is uh, probably the most appropriate thing to do in a situation like that. Does she devil love Christmas? Now some people say, Metinu, that's scary. Not to me, this is right up my alley. And that's my wife, she paints. All right, and smooth out these eyes. Oh, oh no. Look at this. You see that? You see the neck where it's cracked? Look at that. I broke it. <laughs> Sculpey is not the strongest stuff in the world. So we're gonna have to glue it back. So now I'm gonna make a little Reinforcement on the neck here. Kind of smash it in there. And we're going to put a little reinforcement. Go backwards, same kind of way we did the other one. This is going to be for his pom pom on top. Now, look, you want to go slow with something like this. You want to just give a firm, gentle pressure. Go easy on it, or you'll break it. Easy. Just like that. Back to the oven. <laughs> now we're gonna roll out some more clay. What for, Tinu? Well, we're gonna make the fur around his hat. Wrap it around, get it stuck in there real good. Pom poms. So now we poke it, poke it, poke it. I'm just using a pin to do this, and uh, you want to perforate a whole bunch of the clay, and then you can start kind of pulling it, making it look more like fur. Watch. Fur. I try to think. Fur. Fur. That helps. Oh, looking good. Maybe a little more. We're going to bake it. So it's out the oven and I want to show you. See, don't worry about this. All these little particles just uh, come off. Let's paint it. Now this, I want to get.
get the perfect amount of paint on the brush, but oh boy, this uh, this particular paint right here uh, is very uh, wet. It's an airbrush paint, so uh, to get a dry brush technique with it, you really gotta. Do you know what are you doing? Focus. So when you dry brushing, what I like to do is uh, when I dip my paint uh, brush in the paint, I like to start on the back first. Uh, I naturally would want to go for the face and the most important details first, but you want to save that till you got your brush right. See, and then you got it nice. Go to the back. Then you do the front. You got it perfect. Brushing. I like the dry brush on white because then it brings out the details. Shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Okay, let's try a push pin this is not working toothpick this is not working too hot either I'm messing up in front of the world all right this is a little foam brush I got I'm gonna try that well the paint flows better, but uh, what it comes down to is I didn't make this channel deep enough here. I guess we learning together. I'm gonna have to go back and retouch this paint job. It's fixed. Okay, now I'm using the same dry brushing technique that I was using earlier. This, uh, this paint here is more opaque. You don't want to cover up too much of the white and make it look all flat. Hey Tinu, what kind of low rent tutorial is this? You don't even tell us what kind of paint you're using? Is this, I'm not going to even try to pronounce that, it's red. And this paint here is called chartreuse. What? This paint is a lot more uh, translucent, so which means you can go on wet with it and the white still shows through. Oh, he's looking snazzy now. All right, now that he's all painted up and looking good, gotta make a weapon. Uh, it's gonna be a non-standard weapon, something di a little different, yeah? All right, watch your eyes. Roll it. Flatten this out and put this stick right up in it. So I'm going to try to get like there's some little air bubbles in here. I'm going to try to get them out to kind of work it out. Now this is my favorite part. I love adding texture. That's my jam. Tinu, what on the green earth are you building? Well, this is a, it's gonna be a push pull. What is a push pull? This is a push pull. This is one cool thing about Sculpey. After it's baked, it carves real nice. See that? So uh, a push pole is like a pole that a Cajun uh, uses to uh, push himself through the marsh. Like when he's in his bureau. And this is black paint. 
Hold a phone one second. What's all these other weapons in the background? I'm gonna have to show y'all how to do that in another tutorial. I'm uh I'm running out of time. Oh. Hmm. So watch. Look at this. This is a fancy trick. Some advanced 102 stuff right here. Um, so you don't get your gloves too dirty. Look, oh yeah. Look at that. Not, Look at that, getting fancy. Okay, now that I got my base coat on, I'm gonna color these up real nice. So I mixed up a, a little bit of epoxy here. Got that on both his hands, and now I'm taking this push-pull weapon, and uh, I'm gonna hold it on there. And I'm praying this is a five-minute epoxy, and uh, not 25-minute epoxy. Now hold on, Tinu. A push-pull is not a weapon. Well, tell that to this guy. I'm sorry, sir. The library is closed. You're just gonna... So there you have it. He's joined the rest of the team and they all gave themselves some nicknames. Push-pull. Glamaham. Iman. These two guys. What? The dangerous and beautiful sweet tooth. And all the rest. These tiny cycles are committed to keeping you and your family safe this holiday season. Data Seasonal Security Force.